Hello, welcome again to our channel. Welcome again to um, Faster Learning Consulting. Here we teach maths, we teach speed reading and retention skills. And today we're going to teach you about uh, we're going to teach you maths, mental maths. And today our lesson is about box multiplication. This is another method, a mental method for doing maths like in an easier way, so that you will have. Um, that gives you easy uh, approach to doing calculation, especially with big numbers and for people who have problems with uh, carrying forward. And for most people like me when I was in school, okay? <laughs> so, um, for that purpose, let's go and try some examples. I'm going to start with smaller numbers. So let's say uh, if someone gives you uh, 13 multiplied by uh, 14. And in most cases, uh, if you are a bit careless, like me, for some kids who are also who need some special kids, you need a uh, you need um, simpler way of doing mathematics. So let's say for this, you're going to develop like a table like this, and you're going to write here one, three, one, four. So you want to multiply 13 by 4. And for that, it's necessary that you have these boxes um, separated like this, so that when you multiply, you're going to say, for example, what is 1 multiplied by 3? So it's 3, so it's 0, 3. What is 1 multiplied by 1? So it's 0, 1. So then what is 4 multiplied by 3? Here you have 12. So you just write the 12 the way it is. What is 4 multiplied by 1? So you have 0, 4. Now here is where the catch is. In most cases, uh, many kids, many students fail exams not because they don't know, but it's just because they messed up with some carrying forward. And now, this is where the catch is. So you are saving the idea of carrying forward by extending the, the words, the, 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 these lines, and then you just add the way these numbers are. So here you have 2, here you're going to say 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 4 is 8, and then you're going to add 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1. So, and here's 0, so it's 0. So actually, your answer here becomes 182. So in this case, um, you make calculation become simpler and um, less tedious, uh, less um, uh, untidy. Oh, tedious. Mm. Okay. Yes, so let's have a look. So that's it. And then let's try another method. Let's try another um, example so that we see how we can use it for even bigger numbers. So let's say you have here 3, 7, 372. Multiply by, let's say, 463. So what we're going to do, we're going to have like um, now a table with, you know, three columns and then three rows for this case. So we're going to say one column, second column, and third column. So we're also going to say three, we're going to say if you have here three rows. So we have one, two, so let's have the third one here. And of course, to make work easier, we're going to say to have the diagonal lines. So So this makes our work then simpler. So we have three, seven, two, multiply by four, sixty. Three. So this is how it becomes entertaining and a bit easier. So we have like, what is 4 multiplied by 2? We have 8. So we have 0, 8. 4 multiplied by 7 is 28. So just write 28 the way it is. 4 multiplied by 3 is like 12. So we have 12. 6 multiplied by 2, it becomes 12. 6 multiplied by 7, you have uh, 42. We just write the way it is. What is 6 multiplied by 3 is 18, so you write 18. You go to the next one, 
3 multiplied by 2 gives you 6. 3 multiplied by 7 gives you 20, 21. You have 21. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. So you have. Now, when it comes to adding, you're just adding this, this line here. You had this line here, this line here, this line here, and this one. So for example, here you will have one because that's easier. And now you don't, it doesn't matter like from where you start from. So here you have five plus uh, two plus two plus one, that one gives you five. And um, eight plus eight, that is 16, so that one gives you 20. And then you have here eight plus two, 10, 11, 13. So another way of looking, if you see this, you can see like a shortcut here. So you will take one plus nine gives you 10. This one plus this one gives you 10. So that means you have 20 plus two, you have 22 here. And then you have two plus one gives you three. And then you have here six. So you are almost done. So with the whole numbers like uh, 22, 20, what you need to do is to carry the figure to the next number. So what you have here now is, you have here 6, 3, then you write here 2, you carry 2 here, becomes 22, so you have another 2, you carry this 2 here, becomes 7, then you have 1. What's your answer? 172, 236. So the answer here is 172. 236. Now, the good thing about this method is that you, um, it saves you all the confusion when you're doing calculation. Okay? So, um, I think that's done.